welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher, you're inside the Stitchery, and I'm so happy you're here today. Today is National Tea Day. It was started in 2016 because Queen Elizabeth II's birthday, God rest her soul, is also today. So they established National Tea Day. I love tea. <laughs> I have been a tea lover since I was yay high and um, my family is from the south so I was brought up on sweet tea and then my mother loves a good cup of hot tea so I was raised on that very young. I didn't get into coffee till I was about meh, 15. Yeah and I still prefer tea better. Anyway there's so many ways that you can have tea so many different kinds of tea that I thought today would be a fun day for a tea tasting and I'm not alone my mother is joining me for this video so for those of you who like it when her little voice guest stars um you're in luck because she's in today's video so we are going to do a fun little tea tasting some teas I've never had before some teas I have but I will try and explain to the best of my ability you know what they taste like since there's no, you know, taste division. <laughs> so today is just a fun, relaxing video. It really has nothing to do with crochet. Unless of course you feel inspired by National Tea Day and you would like to make Tessie the teacup. If you've missed it, I made Tessie the teacup. She's very simple, very easy. She is on the channel. She's also on the Facebook group and my Instagram, if you would like to make her. Or if you are not a teacup person, but you like mugs, we have, technically this is coffee, but you can put tea in it. Just change the color. So this is Carmen, the coffee mug. Again, very simple. And this one is new. This is Thomas, the tea bag buddy. And um, he is not on the channel yet, but he will be very soon. So he's my favorite. Stay tuned for that. So let's journey up the stairs and um, let's have a tea tasting. Join me, will you? So today we are going on an international tea tasting, starting with Turkey. So first of all, I am not alone. My mother is here. It's her hand. <laughs> and we are going to taste Elma chai. So this is the tea. It is Turkish. And it is an apple tea. You can serve it hot or cold. It's National Tea Day. We're going to serve it hot. <laughs> so this is an authentic one that I found off of Amazon. And this is a... It's also Turkish. It's also Turkish? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, this is also a Turkish one that my mother found. So this tea is traditionally served in these things called tulip glasses. Yep. And it has these cute little spoons. And you put sugar cubes in them. Traditionally, you don't have to. Because it's sweet enough. Right. See? These are Turkish dishes. We did bring them back from Turkey with us. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've had this. Oh, yeah. Apple juice, you got nothing on this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think so, too. It's very sweet, even if it isn't sweet enough for you they always uh, bring you sugar cubes mm -hmm. uh, or they'll put it on your plate mm -hmm. uh, because if it's regular turkish tea which is usually black tea because they raise a lot of tea in turkey up um, northern turkey on the black sea coast uh, it's really strong like their coffee and you absolutely have to have sugar t just to swallow like it. six cubes yeah and um but Elma chai is mostly for kids uh, or people who aren't used to Turkish teas yet. So when we would go shopping, if you remember, you, whether it was in Istanbul or out in the alley outside the airbase, mm -hmm. um, 
part of their hospitality is to offer you tea or chai. Mm-hmm. And uh, they would say something like, uh, Shannon Abla, chai Eastern Missinus. And you would say, Evet, Chok Tesha Kuradaram. So, uh, but they serve it in the store so that you can be sipping on that while uh, you're waiting. Because, Best part of shopping. <laughs> yes, because the longer you're in there, the more likely you are to, to spend. spend money. <laughs> So, uh, so, and you'll even see uh, young kids running down the street with a little tray, a round tray with all of these yes. tulip uh, glasses going to a store so they can offer it to somebody. And the water is usually absolutely boiling hot, mm-hmm. which is good because that's the only purification you would get for the water. So you want it really, really hot. But it definitely made shopping in Turkey um more fun. More fun and more memorable. So we missed uh, Elma Chai. So Shannon found it for me for Christmas one year. Yep. Best daughter ever. <laughs> and uh, so, and we enjoy it. It's uh, great. Every once in a while. It's really great. It's, um, it does not taste like hot apple juice. It does not. It's kind of like cider without the spice. And, um, very, very heavy in the like crisp apple kind of taste that you don't even get in apple juice. Apple juice is more tart. This is way more crisp and clean and warm. <laughs> so thank you for going to Turkey with us. Where shall we go next? Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe Japan. We will go to Japan. way more about this stuff than I do so I will lift and you will talk (laughs) (laughs) okay all right so as everybody probably knows tea in Japan is a big deal they Mm -hmm. have entire ceremonies that the geishas have to learn and you know I I guess as Americans we're just too much in a hurry to whisk our tea and uh just the geishas getting dressed for the tea ceremony takes like all day so uh no we're too busy for that but tea is still a big deal over there. It's one of the few things that you cannot get out of a vending machine uh, in Japan. You can get anything else, including cars, out of a vending machine. Do you want to pour that? No. Actually. Oh, okay. I can do that. And um, they they make such lovely china. What we have here is a jasmine green tea. They're real big on green, green tea teas. over there. Um you have to be careful about green tea. In that I moment. can't have green teas with my medical conditions, but she will tell you what it tastes like. So, and well, I will hold up the beautiful teapot. Well, the first thing you notice about a, a jasmine tea is the fragrance. It is very floral, and it smells heavenly. Oh, so, it smells like the plant. And yes, and that is part of the tea experience: is just smelling the tea. Uh, as well as enjoying the flavor. And I don't recall the Japanese uh, sweet, putting anything sweet in their tea. I don't think so. Um, That is definitely a European thing. But uh, in a way, if you add cream or lemon or uh, sugar or something to the tea, then it does dilute the fragrance and the taste. But definitely a very jasmine tea. I don't taste the green tea so much in here. But they do uh, want you to stir it. So the Japanese have all sorts of cute little spoons. You want to hold a cup? Yeah. So these are the cutest things. They are. And in fact, on our Christmas tree, our Japanese Christmas tree, I got a bunch of these teaspoons and you can hang them. They look like lollipops (laughs) or the ones that uh, look like the head of a Kokeshi doll. And um, then there's even a restaurant in Tokyo that is the blue and white restaurant, and they even have uh, napkins made with cute little tea uh, kettles for, for the tea. Yes, and I think you showed them these handmade eggs. Right? Yeah, your washi eggs. Yeah. The washi eggs. So they're real eggs that. Um, and I match the china. There, there you go. <laughs> Very nice. So they take regular chicken eggs, sometimes quail eggs. They blow 
out the insides and clean them out. And then they will put, using rice glue, they will put uh, washi paper in strips over it and then shellac it. Um, and the shellac is made from poison sumac. I don't know who figured that out. Anyway, um, one of the sumo champions, the first non-Japanese sumo champion was an American. And his mother-in-law lived right outside the gates uh, of the airbase. And she made these. And I took a class on how to make them. And I decided early on that, you know, I could just buy these. I, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really very good at anything like that. I made some in a class. I thought it was fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm the artistic, yes. crafty one. She's mathematic yes. and mathematical and very analytical. <laughs> so, so the little teapot... Uh, like most everything else in Japan, comes with uh, five cups. Everything is five because... Not four. Not four, that's death. And not six, that's also death. But five because that's how many petals are on the cherry blossom. And I think it's, the sakura is... It's here. It's, mm -hmm. it's on the teapot. There's a sakura. Yeah, there's one right there. Um, so the cherry blossom has five petals, and so... Anyway, they associate good things with five. So pretty. And it is, and it's just a nice size. So I um, love teapots. But also <laughs> the, the little cups uh, are made so that you can enjoy the bouquet, the fragrance. This and one even has like little, it's kind of scalloped. Mm -hmm. So it looks kind of like a flower in itself. This part looks like a bloom. Yeah, and even on the inside, uh, they they have a line of paint on the inside. And it is scalloped. If you can feel it around the edge, um, mm -hmm. that, it's, that it's scalloped. But it just makes having tea uh, that much nicer. I guess one thing about having tea is that you stop what you're doing and you sit down and you enjoy something slowly mm. unless you're American and you put it in a travel <laughs> mug and you and you run you jump in the car and go for most people I still like my mugs though I still like to pick out my mugs and teacups and stuff like this is what I feel like today well yes and this is, is the that. tea I feel like today and, and you know and we do need to talk it talk about at some point does tea taste different in a mug as opposed to a proper porcelain china cup cup and saucer i think we should test that and, okay. and find out experimentally <laughs> so okay so what is your opinion then of the of the jasmine tea it certainly is the best smelling tea yeah out there and of course they grow tea all over uh, in japan it's not my favorite no, mm -mm. is it too? But too green full? green teas are not my favorite. Well, there and isn't that much green in here, but uh, j jasmine tea is kind of floral, you know, yeah. and that's kind of the big deal. I love it. the smell. The smell is amazing. It is. I had a perfume that had jasmine in it for mm -hmm. a long time. I was really sad when that one died, <laughs> but because um, I love all the floral mm -hmm. perfumes and I like fruit, but I like the florals. But I do like fruit teas. Okay. Um, I would say Elma Chai is better. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be hard to beat the Elma Chai. It, it will, yeah. but I think we can on this list. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, where should we travel to next? I don't know. Well, let's do let's do Hong Kong because it's it's a neighbor. Okay. And we can do and we have to use the proper clay. We were told that. Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's we will, do let's do Hong Kong. We will travel to Hong Kong next. teacups imaginable <laughs> I mean that's my thumb <laughs> nobody should overdo yeah <laughs> so why they're so small is when we were in Hong Kong every other shop is a tea shop and mm -hmm. you can go in and just sit there and try tea after tea after tea 
but they will all tell you that tea never tastes properly mm -hmm. uh, unless you drink it out of purple clay. And so I thought, well, then we have to have purple clay pot and cups. And then I saw these and they're like, wow, you can get a whole tablespoon full <laughs> of tea in there. But if you're tasting teas all day, yeah. you know, that's you don't a want pretty good more. amount. Yeah. So we're just cheating and we're having a spiced chai. Yeah. And, uh, there you go. Ooh. Sorry. But, but tell them about your decaffeinated spiced chai. Oh, I love this stuff. This is mm. decaf spice. So good, especially if you have, like, you can't have caffeine and stuff. It smells vanilla y in a little, uh, to some degree. Mm hmm. There's definitely some vanilla in there, but you can taste, like, First of all, it's a black tea, and you can taste the richness of the black tea, which I miss. So when I found out there was a decaf version, I was like, yay. Um, <laughs> but this is so, honestly, rich. It mm -hmm. tastes it rich. It does taste rich. And we don't it? have anything in this, guys, mm -hmm. because where would you fit it? <laughs> <laughs> can you fit a sugar cube in there? I don't think so. So, yeah. But, um it just tastes really good on its own. It's just a really nice, rich black tea. There are notes of vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon, not much, teeny, teeny bit of cinnamon. Um, in this particular amount, one grain, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but in there. So does it taste better in purple clay? Maybe. Well, maybe you can get all the notes mm -hmm. in there. I definitely get more vanilla than I usually do, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. I drink this all the time, so. That's good stuff. Yeah. And but. I was going to compare it to uh, the Turkish coffee cup, because this is so small. Yes. And Why don't we the, use an empty one? Yeah, that is a, that is a Turkish coffee cup, um, because Boop. Turkish <laughs> coffee is strong. so strong. It's almost viscous, but. Um, It'll take your teeth enamel off. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's very tiny. And I don't know where you're going to get <laughs> six cubes of sugar in there. But anyway. Uh, it's just, like one and a half of those. Yeah. Yeah. So just just be prepared, you know, when you go over. And, but uh, aren't they beautiful? I know this is Turkish again, but isn't this beautiful? I just beautiful? Wanted, to see, <laughs> wanted them to see the size. Oh, yeah. Here's the saucer. They always go together. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to Hong Kong. These little guys are so cute. So look for purple clay, and and when you go to Hong Kong, you know do stop in at the different shops and and try different things. Um, one thing I do want to try in this, Shannon, if if we remember to do it, is white tea. Oh yeah. White tea is very delicate because they uh, they harvest the the leaves um, early, early on. You drinking mine too? Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, poor baby. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't drink the others. <laughs> but anyway. I, I cheated with the green tea, y'all. I just smelled it and I could figure out kind of what it tasted like from smell because I have a super sniffer. <laughs> but uh, I cannot drink green tea. <laughs> so, well, we could get into some serious tea drinking now if we go back to Europe. You mean yeah. like England? Yes. Yeah. This is one of my favorite mugs that I got when I was in England. This is part of the, whoop, I always do this wrong on my computer, part of the Lewis Carroll collection. And to this day, I wish I'd bought the whole set. <laughs> but this is my little souvenir. It is a porcelain mug. And I am so excited. Can you hand me Newton? Um, where's Newton? Where is Newton? Huh? I think you took Newton in there so you could get another bag. Oh. It's fine, I'll edit this. You have to fetch. Yeah, which is ironic. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I can edit. <laughs> so I am 
am trying a new tea that I have never tried before because I found it on um, Republic of Tea. This is Newton. Yes, I got it because it's a corgi. <laughs> but it's also ginger and a red tea and I can drink red teas and I love ginger. So I figured, yay. Also, my friends got me starting uh, Bridgerton, so. Yes, it's so cute. Okay, so I don't know what it tastes like. What do we have to sweeten it with? Well, we have just regular sugar right now. Okay. And a little bit of cream, half and half. Shall I pour? Shall yes. I be mother? Because I am. Because you are my mother. Oh, it's awfully pale compared yeah. to this one. Mm. Maybe it wasn't done steeping. Mm. And we get to use our tea service for two. Yay! And I swear that tea tastes better in a porcelain cup. We don't do tea exactly correctly according to British standards. No. But um, we somehow drink plenty of it. A little half and half. What do you oh think? Oh my goodness, that's delicious. Wow. What do they say this is? Red, robust, organic cinnamon, organic dandelion root, ginger, nutmeg, natural brown butter toffee, and speculos. You know, you can taste the toffee. Yeah. You can. I can. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if this one is like any stronger. This doesn't have anything in it, but. Same tea? Mm hmm. Ooh, you can taste the speculos in this one. That's that cookie that mm -hmm. Duff Goldman always talks about. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, there will be a definition of speculos right here. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I think really, I, that's really different. It is. Yeah. But I like it. And so, there's a corgi on it. <laughs> I watch television and I buy things because there's corgis. Yes, I know. I'm pathetic. But you like period pieces, and that's why we got all of these Downton Abbey mm -hmm. teas while they were available. And they still are. Are they still available? On Amazon, yeah. Mm. And what, what's your favorite? Mm, I really like the Mrs. Patmore. That's this one. And this is Pat Moore's pudding. This tastes like if you've ever had a caramel latte. This basically tastes like a caramel latte, but in a light tea form. So good. And then I think my second favorite is Butler's Pantry, which is Mrs. Hughes. And this is a black tea that has a hint of honey in it. Oh my gosh. And then when you put extra honey in it so good and then um see this one is oh yes it's just classic earl gray with hints of vanilla but it's a very rich earl gray and so that's downton estate that's the name of that one and then the christmas tea is cranberry and pine this one is an herbal tea. It doesn't say caffeine-free, but I'm 99% sure it is. And then the other one I'll show you is also caffeine-free. This one is really good. This one's a very fruity tea, but it has a little bit of like the herb taste inside it. It's pretty good. And then this one is 100% safe for caffeine-free people. It even says it on there. I think this is the rose tea. Yes, blossoms and raspberries rose tea. And this is literally called English rose tea. <laughs> so this one is the sisters and this is very good. And you know, if you don't know which tea you really want to taste, they have these cute little Downton samplers on Amazon and there's one tea bag from every collection. In fact, there's a card in here and it has the ingredients on it for each blend, which is really nice. It also tells you if it's gluten-free and caffeine-free, these little symbols on the side. So we have Grantham Breakfast Black Tea Blend. That is in a black tea with organic ginger root. Why don't we have that one? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Bates Brambleberry Black Tea. It's fine black tea with natural berry flavors and blackberry and raspberry and strawberry and blueberry bits. We found out I was allergic to that one, but unfortunately we don't know what in it I'm allergic to. 
And then we have Mrs. Patmore's Pudding Tea. That's a black tea with blackberry leaves, carob bits, caramel, and vanilla. Downton Christmas Tea. That's a fine black tea with cinnamon, natural flavors of clove, licorice, and apple bits. English Rose Herb Tea is Nigerian hibiscus, rose peels, apples, stevia, raspberries, rose vanilla, and rose petals. And then Lady Cora's Evening Herb Tea is lemon balm, linen flower, orange blossoms, chamomile, lavender root, skullcap, passion flower, and valerian root. That's why we don't have that one. I can't have valerian root. But if you just want the little sample pack, they're all in here. So I will try and link this below. But they all taste good with Scottish shortbread. Yes. Which a lot of times I make Scottish shortbread, but I didn't today. Mm. And then uh, stuffed pastries. Yes. So. Most of this is set dressing because we don't really. Don't eat a lot of partake sweets. Partake in yeah. sweets in this house. Is that, you want to put your hand in here or something? Oh, and wave. Hello. Mm. <laughs> so. Plus, it's a, it's a nice excuse to use my uh, Villaroy Bach Heinrich porcelain. Mm. Mm. So, actually, you lost your first tooth in Metlock, Germany. Oh. That's where Villaroy Bach is made. And uh, wanting to bring you up properly, uh, we had you there and we were shopping for China, porcelain China, while we were there, and you lost a tooth. I don't really think I can do the mug test because my mug is porcelain. It is. You'll have to get Snoopy. Yeah. But I'm curious since I, I just mm -hmm. put sugar in this thing. So some people swear that tea tastes better when you drink it out of porcelain as opposed to just any old mug. Mm, yeah, and and that, may be, that may be true. But it's partly because the porcelain just feels so good to hold. You know, it does. It does. I like the little delicate handle. Oh, yes. Here we go. There. Pinky set. Mm -hmm. And again, it's just the idea of just taking a few minutes to sit down and enjoy a spot of tea. It's probably good for your psyche to just do that. <laughs> it's not that tea has any necessarily superpower medicinal things, although people say that some do. But Red teas, which is what I'm drinking, red tea is actually very good for your heart, your gut, your immune system, and there was another one I found out. Maybe your brain? Why not? I don't know. But red tea has really good um, medicinal purposes, which made me very happy. <laughs> but it's also one that you can't overdo because you can hurt your kidneys. <laughs> My mom has kidney issues, so she has to go easy on red tea. So if you have uh, kidney issues, maybe maybe not. Thankfully, it's one of the things I don't have. <laughs> well, I'm hoping with all the teas that you mentioned today, and we didn't even begin to touch all the teas mm -hmm. uh, that we have, um, people will be curious, you know, to try a few others. And... Um, should I go grab my like favorite tea? Yeah, now? yeah, yeah. And um, you can keep talking. Also, you know, we did order a literary tea set. You're going to have to do that one. I'll do it. And talk about the different literary teas. And I think you have a Peter Rabbit set. Mm -hmm. And it's just fun to try new teas. It's a it's an inexpensive indulgence, I guess. And then we haven't even talked about things that you can sweeten your tea with. Uh, some are better than others. And you like the, the rock version of the beet mm -hmm. sugar. I don't like the grain. I like the, the rock version. Yeah. And for those who are concerned about um, spiking their insulin and all that, there is a natural sugar called allulose that is from the fig plant. And it not only does not spike your insulin levels, but it actually helps control your blood sugar. And doctors are finding out that that's great. It's not very sweet, so you'd want to company, you know, have monk fruit sweetener accompany it. But mm -hmm. that, that's a good one. So I use that a lot of times. We just bought this cute, the cutest little thing off of Amazon. 
These are the little tins for like Peter Rabbit with teeny tiny little bits of tea in them. Um, I forget what flavor it says they are. Hold on. Yeah, I will, I will admit I was very, very taken in by the tins. I thought they were so cute. We have English breakfast, Earl Grey, and English afternoon. So, aren't those cute? It was like 12 bucks on Amazon. It was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. And I um, recently have discovered this tea. It has exactly one ingredient in it. There you go. Here's your single ingredient. It's just organic rubos. That's it. It is so good. I love this stuff. It is so good. It was actually pretty inexpensive too. Um, it's amazing. It tastes incredible. This is like my new favorite tea. I drink this all the time. I highly recommend this one. You can find it on Amazon. I think we bought ours in the store, but you can find it on Amazon. Also, one of my favorite brands is Revolution. This is an amazing tea if you can't sleep. It's so good if you can't sleep. And if you have stomach problems, I recommend this one, which is the same company, just it's the Sweet Ginger Peach. It is so good. Not only does it taste amazing though, it really does help your stomach. The ginger is very strong. The peach is very sweet. It's wonderful. Um, we recently got a catalog from Simpson and Vale and so we bought some teas because there was a sale going on and we got a coupon i think and we bought the literary tea gift box i'm gonna do a video all about this box i have not opened it yet but i think there are five teas hold on let's just let's just find out So they're all based on literary authors. Okay, first of all, I have to tell you when I open the box, woo! <laughs> Louisa May Alcott, Jane Austen, Emily Dickinson, Edgar Allan Poe, and William Shakespeare. I am definitely gonna have to do a tea tasting video all about these, cause I'm very excited. And another wonderful author that was not included in this particular box, we got a little bonus one for ourselves, Beatrix Potter. So I don't know, what does, what does Beatrix Potter taste like? Apparently, organic green rubos, organic rose hips, natural strawberry, chamomile, spearmint, and lemongrass. Hmm, that'll be interesting. Well, this was fun. Thanks, Mom, for yeah. being with me and telling people stuff that I don't know. <laughs> well, it wasn't like it was a tutorial or anything well, on tea, but um, it, uh, tea has a lot of memories for us in mm -hmm. a lot of different places, and tea is enjoyed around the world. People do it differently, but it's all really good tea. Yep. It doesn't matter if it's in a teacup or a mug. It all tastes the same to me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I want to thank all of you for joining us today. This was really fun. Um, if you watch this video all the way through, tell me your favorite tea down below. I would be curious and I'm always looking for more, <laughs> more teas to buy. <laughs> there will be lots of tea content coming up in the upcoming months, whether that has to do with crochet or actual tea tasting or anything that has to do with tea or maybe something like um, something that takes place around tea. So be ready for lots of tea content. And if you're not into tea, well, I'll see you next month. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Mom, for joining me today. Thank Do you, you want to say me. anything to the people who love having you on here? Oh, <laughs> well, I, it was my joy <laughs> to be here. And, of course, you know, hello to everybody. <laughs> And uh, thank you for watching. And I do hope that it does inspire people to try something new. Yeah. We want to encourage you to partake in National Tea Day and maybe brew yourself a cup of tea and just take a minute and just kind of chill today. Just take five minutes to drink your tea. 
and have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember, life happens, yarn helps, and so does tea. And Spoonies can stitch it up too. Bye.